Business Network luncheon, our seven year anniversary. How do you think of that? I think all we need is cooling gang, cooling the gang to start singing celebration. Huh? What do you think, Bonnie? Yeah. Yes. Anyway, I always like to start out the luncheons by asking everybody, how is everybody feeling today? Bodine Velasco in the house. Let him know how is everybody feeling. That is what I love to hear. And by the way, a quick message. All of you know this is the Sterling Club Business Network. We started seven years ago right down the street at the real Sterling Club. I was over there with the owners last week. They're hoping to open in April. But whenever they open, we are going back to the Sterling Club. Let me tell you, it's amazing. One of the things they're doing, they're spending millions of dollars, but one of the things they're doing, there's a brand new spa that's going to be 18,000 square feet. It's going to rival the Venetian Canyon Ranch. It's just amazing. So anyway, all of you are going to enjoy when we do go back there. Gordon Pierce has been incredible, but the, the Sterling Club is just so, so special. Now, Bodine Velasco, I mentioned Bodine is our very special guest, and Margie is going to introduce him in a little while. I just wanted to mention Bodine. You and I go back so many years, oh my God. I can't even count that high. I don't tell, don't tell. Just for all of you to know, when we had our first meeting, Calvin Coolidge was the president. <laughs> So because we want to get to the program, here's what we're going to do as we always do. We're going to go around the room. We're going to do 15 second introductions. Now, 15 seconds. Okay, are we good at 15 seconds. All right? And they go a little bit like this. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Bruce Merritt from Bruce Merritt Public Relations. Always like to remind you that the first two letters of profit are PR. All right, so let's start. By the way, I'm going to start with Nathan, one of our long-time amazing members. He has the best smile in the world. Nathan, take it away. Hello, everybody. My name is Nathan Atkins, and I'm the Director of Sales for Enterprise Accounts at CenturyLink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Kristen Ludlow, and I'm with Inspired International. I'm an entrepreneur, a speaker, and a missionary. And we have several social marketing and social, social branding companies, as well as two programs we're very passionate about our Project Feeding Kids programs and our Pack Up 24 7 programs. So we're very passionate about feeding children and saving pets. My name is Jennifer Young, and I work with St. Jude's Women's Auxiliary. I'm also um, the curator of the Downtown Farmers Market Community Garden, and I'm the owner of Soulmates Boutique, which is probably the best thrift store in all of Las Vegas. And every nine cents of every dollar goes to our program called Penny for Thought with Three Square, where we provide food for children in need. I'm Dr. Vicki Coleman, the anger doctor, not the angry doctor. The anger doctor, you need all of your anger management, conflict resolution, counseling, and coaching needs. Thank you. I'm David Orlog. I do with peer work. I work with Vicki in photography, and uh, we're working with the Imagine Now Network, working with first responders and the vets uh, with hyperbaric uh, stem cell and uh, neurofeedback, so, and video. And Bill Collins. I currently work as a real estate engineer here in Las Vegas at Windermere. I was an actor that I did so well at it when I was an actor that I, I've been selling real estate now. <laughs> 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 I'm Diane Rosenblum. I'm an assistant to a Bill Collins for Windermere Real Realty. And I've just been in Vegas now for five months. Oh. <laughs> You, you just moved in to Turnberry, right? Um, next Tuesday. I'm next moving. Tuesday, that's great. Tower One, correct? Tower One, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, yes. yes. I'm Mike Strand with Chapman Chrysler Dodge Jeep. I'm here for a very good reason. Chapman, Chapman Dodge on East Harris having a party with us. How would you like to come? Yay. Yeah! Our general manager, Don Hammock, a special friend of our host, uh, 
He's on the face, he's on the cover of Infinity Magazine. I think there's a few people here who know Tony has four publications. And besides, wouldn't you want to buy a car from somebody you know? Hi, my name is Ron Gaskus, and I do private jets worldwide. And we just had three airplanes going to the Super Bowl to visit with the winners. So if you like to be a winner, come fly with us. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Victoria, and that's a secret. Okay. <laughs> For you to remember my name, Victoria's Secret. So anyway, I'm a, an events photographer, alright, so I always say that an event without photos is as if it never happened at all. So you need pictures. And I do have a day job, I work for Paul Paddle Law, and uh, I'm going to give out these things, we do free insurance evaluation. So if you have any questions about it, I mean, you, you want to ask someone you know. So I'm going to tell you. All right, thank you. Hello, my name is Eva Fudge, and I was born and raised in Sweden. So my motto is how sweet it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm a wellness coach and specializing in the natural face there. Thank you.
Good morning, I'm Ron Cooper with Euphoria. We're all uh, born with DNA we get from our parents. Unfortunately, they give us genetic weaknesses. And uh, as we live and go on in life, they become more apparent. But there's help. A simple DNA test will identify what your weaknesses are. And we create a specialized nutrition to target those and uh, ensure your health. Ron Cooper with Euphoria. Las Vegas for the last 27 years and before that in Atlantic City. And I also have my own company called Cats Meow that I'm lucky enough to partner with Bruce on some projects, which I just love. And I've had three books published and I'm working on another one. Thank you. Hello, um, I'm Marcia. I'm the lead commercial account for Redwood for Sanctuary. And um, I help the small one do this with their um, um, data and voice uh, and whoever um, can send us some business, we give up to $25,000. Hi, my name is Mary Griffin, senior sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics. And just Kim tells a story, but age does not have to be a part of it. Besides, it's just a number. Let's keep yours anonymous. <laughs> yes, I need to call that. <laughs> My name is Lori Nixie with EXP Realty, and not only do I help you find your dream home, but I also sell land with oil um, for your retirement strategies and your retirement portfolio. My name is Lori, and I'm your realtor with a heart. Good evening. I'm Jewel Bailey, and I'm a company by the name of Blingo by Jewel. I'm sure you've guessed by now. Yeah. <laughs> if you stand too close to me, you get blinked. <laughs> That's what I do. And if you would like a cart, we do everything, food, handbags, your glasses, whatever you'd like. We are there for you. We want to see all of you. Do you do bubble I volunteer. I volunteer. I have a show called Vegas Live with the Don, which folk every Tuesday from uh, at the Capitol from one o'clock to three o'clock. If any of your workers to come down and have a good time, I have an interview. And I also have been up there. Lynn is uh, actually my talent director. She's amazing. She's wonderful. I have a good one. <laughs> My name is Dana Day. I'm a singer and entertainer here in Las Vegas, and I've been performing at Bella Note, the new Italian restaurant. Thank you. So, thank you for having me. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Marilyn Faye O'Leary, and I too am a singer here in Las Vegas, and I'm trained in, and skilled in many different styles of music and Broadway show tunes and beyond, maybe some country. Uh, I'm available for private parties, stage, and whatever else, and I'm proud to say that Mr. Margie Shepard is my personal manager. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mark Gordon, the muscle relaxer your doctor should prescribe and the pain reliever you deserve. I work on those nagging aches and pains, and yes, that does include husbands and wives. Send them to me, and I'll send them back relaxed. If you know anybody who's stepped off the curb, twisted an ankle, has carpal tunnel, or just has a little hitch in their giddy up, have to give Mark Ward the muscle relaxer a call. Hello, I'm Gail Marie with Custom Crosses and More. I write puzzles all about your friends and family or your products and services. And I've done one for uh, Humana, a crossword, and a word search, uh, a few of each for their uh, newsletters. And if you know of anyone, send them my way if they want to be puzzled. <laughs> How many times in your life have you had to navigate ups and downs and wished you had some help? I'm Laura Brecka, a founder of 7 dailyhabitscom and I would like to help you if you have a chance to talk with me, I'll be right up here. Smiling, and I'm not a singer, although I've been known to break out in song. <laughs> I have seven daily habits, and none of them are good here. <laughs> <laughs> I know! I know! <laughs> Thanks for that ringing endorsement. Brian Ruff with Management Communications, marketing and PR firm, been around since 2000. We tell stories. 
Andy, and I've been coming here for years, love it to death. I have a hypnotist, uh, two comedians, and two magicians that I'm representing. Robert Seidel, it's great to be here with you today. This is a wonderful group. And um, practicing personal injury law in order for 42 years now, believe it or not. Exceptionally high reviews on uh, Yelp and uh, social media. If you ever want personal injury, the personal touch, just give me a call. Robert Seidel. Shepard. By the way, you like my red shirt, you guys? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. That's so in the photos you'll always know who I am. Okay? All right. I even got the socks to match. Okay. I got the socks. Yeah. All right. So I want to bring up Margie Shepard. She is the vice president of the Sterling Club. She will make the official introduction. Margie Shepard. Started as a speaker 20 years ago, 
Now, Joanne just started selling me into events like crazy, and there's nothing quite fine, like finding a person who will do that for you. So God bless her. But, you know, in order to, we're here to celebrate, right? Seven years. It's uh, pretty good. It looks like Joanne. extracted all kinds of value in many ways, both emotional and personal and uh, pecuniary and non-pecuniary and personal and business-like. So we won't go into that. It's a laundry list. In order to facilitate... What is pecuniary? You know, <laughs> in order to facilitate our initial emotional body and to provide for you now a direct sensory experience of the extraordinary capabilities of the human hand and the human system, I should like to begin by conducting an exercise in sharing. And as is commonly in university the case with sharing, this is going to require a contribution, a donation. Good to see you right here in the front, cowboy. Did you bring your wallet? I did bring my wallet. I'd like you to take it out, open it up, and say, Bodine, help yourself. Uh, I, need a, I need a $20 bill. I need a $20, $20 bill. Look at that thing. Is he organized? Uh, okay, we got a, a nice 20 in there, we've got a 5 and a 10. The first person to give me a $20 bill, I'll double your money right now. Woo! The first person, there's a guy helping me relax and handle all that pain. Thank you so much. Now, uh, you've, you've surrendered up a $20 bill, the basic spending unit of the American currency system, and, and uh, you know, we're going to, you're a beautiful experience, because what we're going to do is we're going to conduct a little sharing. We're going to uh, share your equity with other members of the gathering. Look, here's a little here, there's a little here. Now, be honest, tell the truth. This feels good on the inside, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of a warm, kind of a glowing, kind of a new age, kind of a 21st century thing happening for you over there. Trust me, buddy, I'm a professional. At this now, don't take your eyes off the four pieces of your $20 bill, for they will never leave your sight, not even for a moment, not even for the fraction of a second. I'm going to fold them down into half, and I'm going to fold them down into fourths. I give them a little pinch, and I give them a little twist. And I want to show you that this age of advanced information and technology, although science and logic can give us what it is that we need, it's only magic that can truly give us what it is that we want. Oh. Oh. So he had to wait at the bar with his girlfriend to get his table. And while he was there, he was doing magic tricks and sleight of hand tricks with cigarettes and coins. He had a crowd of people around him. He, they gave him free drinks. They comped his meal. I thought, man, if I could learn that, I would be on my way. I quit my job the next morning, checked out 11 books on sleight of hand magic from the library, and I've been at it ever since. And then about 12 years into that, uh, I was doing corporate banquets as an entertainer, and my clients started to ask me to actually add in some stories about service excellence and human achievement and the human potential. And I, I went off into that, and I found that I really loved that sort of thing, but I never was able to leave the magic behind, because I think when, you know, the tribe gets together, you have, have some, you've got to have some fun. Now, just about everywhere I go, and I do, I, I make a habit of going, just about everywhere I can. Quite frankly, folks say to me, they say, Bodine, how do you do it? And I'm so glad you so vocalized the inquiry because I'm going <laughs> to tell you how I do it. It's with the power of suggestion. Suggestion so strong that it will actually constitute hypnosis in this room over the next few moments. I have some nylon marine line taped off at the end so it won't fray. Let's talk in adjectives. 
This would be the long piece of rope. This would be relative one to another, the medium length piece of rope, and this would be the short piece of rope. Now, it's a well understood internationally accepted fact that sleight of hand happens at the fingertips. So if I place the ropes at the bases of my fingers, it precludes the possibility of any sleight of hand manipulation on my part. I'm just going to step up here for just a minute. It precludes the possibility of any sleight of hand manipulation on my part, and I'm relegated to the power of suggestion if, uh, to alter your perceptual frame of reference, and that is my surreptitious intent over the next <laughs> few moments. I show you the front of the hands. You see a long, you see a medium, you see a short piece of rope. I show you the front of the hands, I show you the back of the hands, and I now suggest that you see one, two, three equal length pieces of rope, and indeed you do. And I'd like to pause for just a moment to congratulate this group on its self-control when it comes to applauding. <laughs> whip on you. <laughs> but there's a natural energy of reciprocity we want to develop if we're going to have that peak emotional experience we've come to anticipate when we have lunch with Bruce Mary. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. There's one. It's an equal length uh, uh, piece of rope right there. And indeed, there's two. It's an equal length piece of rope. And there's a third equal length piece of rope. But you know, the power of suggestion creates a spell that's quite easily broken. We just snap our fingers, it breaks the spell throughout the entire august and auspicious gathering. And we're back to this one. That's that short one, that's that medium one. <laughs> Hoppa! We <laughs> were celebrating, we celebrating seven years of networking. And we're getting really good at it, as a matter of fact. And it's, so incredible. I've been doing a lot of work with retail operators lately because I'm really big on corporate culture, you know. Retail is trying to survive and prosper in the challenge of online sales going higher and higher all the time. And so retailers, I like to tell retailers they're the last bastion of human interaction in the marketplace. And culture is so important because what do we know, and this applies to retail as well as any enterprise, what we know for sure now is that your customers are going to feel the way that your employees feel. Now, if you're a single O operator, running by yourself or an assistant or with your husband, that applies to you personally. That means that your customers are going to feel the way that you feel because the human limbic system, which controls emotion, is an open system. Now your, your circulatory system is a closed system. I can drink a cup of coffee with three teaspoons of sugar, I can have a couple of Coca Colas, I can whack out my circulatory system, I can interact with you, nothing's gonna happen because those are closed systems. But the limbic system, which controls human emotion, is an open system. And so the way that I feel when I interact with you is going to affect you in a way that none of us actually can anticipate the strength of. So that's really, really powerful stuff. The nice thing about the human limbic system being an open system is that without that, we couldn't fall in love. I'm going to talk about some brain chemistry in this regard in just a minute, but I feel another miracle. <laughs> and, uh, there's only one thing to do when you feel a miracle coming on. You've got to get it out of your system just as soon as you possibly can, or you'll get miracle blockage, man. <laughs> That's a painful thing, man. Let me tell you. Of course, you know, just about everywhere I go, and I do, I, I make a habit of going just about everywhere I can. Quite frankly, folks say to me, they say, Bodine, oh, how do you do it? And I'm so glad you've asked once again. Subvocalized <laughs> in the inner reaches of your brain, uh, because I'm going to tell you how I do it. It's with a, it is with a interactive, interpersonal rapport, and I'm going to need to interact with about three or four people here who have really sensitive communication skills. And as I look out over the gathering at this time, I'm thinking that might be asking a little too much. <laughs> 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 we'll move forward anyway. Come on, because we are celebrating. <laughs>
kind of new one, so this is, a, this is a, I'm feeling a little adrenalized now. <laughs> a deck of playing cards comes in two basic colors. Half the deck is black, the clubs and the spades. The other half red, diamonds and hearts. Black and red. Uh, which color would you like to use? Red. Okay, red. Now, in the red half of the deck, there are two suits. There's the diamonds and there's the hearts. In your mind, using your imagination, what I'd like you to do is select one of those suits for yourself and hand the other one to me. Okay? Okay. Which one did you hand to me? Hearts. The hearts. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with. Would you like to use a number card, face card? Um, a face card. A face card. Mm -hmm. And at this point, what is your favorite face card that's coming to your mind? Queen of Hearts. The Queen. That would be amazing. I have a napkin over here that I should have handed out to begin with. And uh, just got that from the bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold it in fourths. And what the four of you have done is with your unique decisions, neither of which I could have influenced in any way, shape, or form, you define one specific discrete object in this world. You define a playing card, as a matter of fact. And you chose red, and you chose hearts. And you said, let's do face cards instead of number cards. And you chose the queen, the queen of hearts. Oh, so much better now. Oh, my. There's a lot of a, a margin for error on that one. And I'm on the way to the luckiest day of my life. <laughs> being in a room like y'all is that everyone here is a believer in the fact that they have uh, basically can exercise choice which gives you control over maximizing your experience in in this world in your life and in your business we all believe that we have the capacity to maximize our experience and I spend my life researching strategies and ideas and the latest stuff, information, on how to assist us in doing that. You know, in keeping with that notion that our customers are going to feel the way that we feel, in fact, everybody's going to feel the way that we feel, I got a hold of a top 10 list, uh, a study done by the Public Agenda Foundation out of New York, and they came up with a really authentic top 10 list of what employees want from work. And that applies to all of us interpersonally as well. Guess what's number one on the top 10 list of what employees want from work? Okay, it's a rhetorical question. Okay, no time off. It's to work with people who treat me with respect. Uh, the foundation of interpersonal enjoyment and productivity starts with respect. Now, what is the behavior of respect? We have to go with listening, and I think we have to go with kindness, as a matter of fact. And kindness is much more powerful than we think. And I want to venture over just real quick, because I feel another miracle coming on, and I got to get it out, so I have to go. We're going to move through this quickly. Is that they're, they're, we're studying the human brain on a really incredible level now that we've never done before. So much of our behavior is tied to brain chemistry. So much of our our predisposition to do positive things and engage in positive uh, behavior, it starts with brain chemistry. You know, we, we consume more antidepressants in this country than all the other Western cultures combined. And you know, there's one chemical in the human brain that all antidepressants aim at, and it is serotonin. It turns out, that serotonin levels up in your brain, you feel good, you feel available. 
you feel like you're connected to everything you know and everything you can do. Serotonin levels up, you'll talk to strangers when you walk into an elevator. You know what that feels like. <laughs> Other times, serotonin levels down. Oh, you feel withdrawn. You don't feel available to yourself or to others. You're not going to even make eye contact if you step into an elevator with some strangers. This is related to the level of this brain chemical in your brain. The latest studies tell us, get this, the latest studies tell us that an act of kindness from one human to another stimulates the serotonin production, increases serotonin in the brain of the person receiving the act of kindness, in the person dispensing the act of kindness, and in anybody who is witnessing an act of kindness, serotonin levels go up. It turns out that kindness is actually the gift of well-being to ourselves and to each other that has a physiological brain chemistry component that is experienced on an emotional level. All right, so that is part of this whole thing. And, and, and now, you know, just about everywhere I go and I do, I make a habit of going just about everywhere I can. Quite frankly, folks say to me, they say, Bodine, how do you do it? Oh, you're catching on. The rest of you will get it as we progress. And it's a well-timed quality inquiry on your part, because I'm going to tell you how I do it. And it's legendary ballistic control. That's how I do it. And I've got a deck of the pasteboards for this. I'm not afraid to use it. It is a liquor store pack of bicycle rider back reds. Anybody's <laughs> dick will do. They make them uh, different. They are, they're all different, as a matter of fact. But so you can tell one card from the other. Uh, <laughs> in which all decks of cards operate. Uh, some of these gags I do just for myself. So I'm always happy when others join in. Uh, you know, the thing is, I'm just going to randomly reorganize the cards just a little bit. And, get, and to get warmed up for this, let's see if I can find some high-value cards in the pack. I'm going to go down right here and swing cut the cards around, see if I can't find the high-value card. That's an ace of diamonds. I like, I like that one. Watch, I'm going to cut once and cut twice from the bottom. I'll find another one. That's the ace of clubs. Now, don't take your eyes off my hand. Not even for a moment, because we know that's where everything does take place. And that's <laughs> the case of hearts. And the fourth one, the fourth, come on in. We have our priorities, and food is one of them. Is that the beer batter? Right. right there? Yes, I'm doing it. I'm over here, right there. Right there. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Well, okay. So we're now, we're, we, are, we are deeply into a multi-sensory experience. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get one more card out and then we can do legendary ballistic control. Just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Right there. Swing cut the cards around at that exact location. I'm looking for that last one. That's not a space. Okay. I'm going to go out into the multitude here, and I'm going to see what we can do. And, um, and I would like you to reach over, take any card that has a red number on it, 2 through 10. Red 2 through 10. Red 2 through 10. Okay. Five of hearts. Falls within the parameters of your question. Thank you for that. All right. And we need to make this a unique one of a kind item because it's, it's, it's certain, currently hundreds of thousands of these are manufactured every day by the U.S. Claim Card Company. And I want you to go ahead and, and put your initials on here. What's your first name? Joy. Yeah. Okay. Joy. Start with the letter J is good. Joe is good. Joy. Joyce Owen. Joyce. Oh, Joy. Now, Joe has actually made this card like no other card in the entire world. In a world of multiple duplications and duplicities, this card stands out uniquely alone as a one-of-a-kind item. I'm going to lean it right up to my spice bottle. You need the spice, I'll get it right back to your table. And now, I'm going to need, I need someone who's kind of upbeat, kind of effervescent, kind of excitable, but we'll take you instead. <laughs> 
experience now <laughs> and see that I need to join you very quickly. And we get this out the miracle and then we'll all just dive in and we'll scoop it down together. Okay, let's try it. So they did a study with rats. I'm gonna do this quick, but I want you to I want you to get this in your brain. They did a study with rats and they had a, a little maze they created with a central central spot where they would drop the rat in and then they had two hallways hallway a go down here hallway b both the same at the end of hallway a is a small amount of food at the end of hallway b twice as much food but there's a big barrier that the rat has to go over to get double the amount of food now what happens was that 
they have the ability to manipulate how much dopamine is in that rat's brain. If a rat has a low level of dopamine in their brain, and this has been substantiated with humans as well, they will always go down the empty hallway for the smaller reward. If they have a high level, get this, if they have a high level of dopamine in their brain, they will always go down the hallway that has the difficult hurdle to overcome to get twice as much food. That's as good a definition of motivation as I have ever encountered in a scientific study. We are all the same way. One of the things that increases our natural inclination to do the extra work, go the extra mile, to get the extra reward, is an increase of dopamine in the human brain. And what increases dopamine? A pat on the back for work well done right after the moment. It is also small celebrations. Take your big goals, break them down into small milestones, and when you hit a milestone, even if it's just something little, but you did some one thing that's part of the 12 things you've got to do to accomplish your main outcome, stop for a moment and congratulate yourself. Do a celebration. Go have a candy bar or something, and you will stimulate the release of dopamine in your brain and you will be naturally inclined when you wake up in the morning to have a natural urge to do the extra work and go the extra mile. It is an amazing thing. Here's the other thing. This happens when you interact with your mate and your children. What are the words you're never going to hear your mate say? I've had it with all this appreciation and recognition. I can't take it. <laughs> of course, you know, just about everywhere I go, and I do, I make, I make a habit, I make a habit, I got a beer back there, you can go store a beer for, for, for the higher hill. Okay, thank you, thank you. Got to take your moments of opportunity when you find them. You know, just about everywhere I go and I do, I make a habit of going just about everywhere I can. Quite frankly, folks say to me, they say, Bodine, I do it. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how I do this legendary pullback control. And I would be remiss to come all this way and not engage in just such a display. And what I would like you to do is stand up, move your legs, your body will follow. Let's have a round of applause for that. All right, we have we have disallowed you to continue with your meal, but we'll get back to you that momentarily. Now I've got a deck of case sports here. I'm not afraid to use it. It's a liquor store pack. What's your first name? Laura. Laura. Okay. I, have you engaged in a, a penetration of the supernatural avail prior to this moment? <laughs> You'll be perfect for this. You'll be perfect for this. I'm gonna ripple down the side. You say stop whatever you want. Stop. Okay. Take that card. Now show it to everybody. Don't let me see the value of the card. Hold it up really high and rotate it to the right and to the left. Did you get to see the card? Will you be able to remember the card? This will incredibly enhance your enjoyment of the effect when we get to the end. <laughs> now if I were to take that card, let's just stop for just a moment and consider. If I were to take that card and I were to place it in the pack and I were to mix them up and then expeditiously extract it from its unique location, that would be a fascinating display of card control skill, but that would not be legendary pull that control. Legendary pull that control is where I completely surrender control of the pack, the female subject number three, and I would like you to place the card in the pack anywhere you'd like. Go ahead, place it in anywhere you like, and take us through a full display of your card shuffling repertoire. All right. The remedial method is accepted under these test conditions. <laughs> and then there's the old Gardena Horseshoe Club thing. I like that. All right. <laughs> what you've done is you've made this card. Uh, I mean, you placed this card in the pack, and they've been shuffled by one of your own. So if I could find the card at this particular point in space and time, that would be a legendary display of card. I know, I know exactly, I don't know, I just feel connected. I, I know exactly where the card is, it's down about right here. Let's swing up the cards around at that exact location. 
I'm looking for one card. Is it this one right here? Yeah. Now let's go through and do some uh, new and improved uh, Sterling group, networking group. Let's go through and get your card again. Let's use that five of clubs one more time. I want you to go on in there and see if you can't find that five of clubs down in there, inside. <laughs> that five of clubs down there. That five of clubs down there. Okay, you go on in there. Okay, yes. let's, let's go in there and find it. All right, all right. I love a, I love a networker who can concentrate. Tell on your virtual vision. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm in view of the spirit of our experience. After the mirror coming on, I want you to take this card right here. Hold on to it. And uh, uh, you have a little free time on your hands. I'd like you to be the citrus fruit monitor. Hold on to okay. it. We'll get back to you. Gotcha, sir. All right. And I would like you to take your card, tear it in half right down the middle. Tear it in half right down the middle. Put those two pieces on top of each other and tear one more time. Okay. We'll have four pieces. The cards We're going to go down to about 32 pieces. Tear one more time. We'll have eight pieces. We're taxing your motor skills already. Let's just stop right here. All right. And 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 then what I want you to do is I want you to I think we got them all. I want you to I want you to hold your hand out like a little table. We're going to take two of the pieces that you selected and mutilated and leave them in full view. Don't relinquish control. I'm going to take the other six pieces, I'm going to clamp them tightly into my oil cavity for security purposes only. I need a red shield kerchief for this and I have proactively anticipated that requirement on my part. You got your two pieces? Yep. All right. I'm going to make a small depression in the middle of the shield kerchief. I'm going to take the other six pieces, I'm going to place them right inside. Don't blink, don't think of anything else, concentrate. I'm gonna push them all the way in and kind of one, two, and three. They're gone, and they are gone for good. And yes, it was a peak visual and emotional experience for me as well. I am completely stunned, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Let's review. Let's review, class, what has happened. You picked a card, three and around in front of the deck. We had some fun, you tore it once, you tore it twice, you tore it three times. In the eight distinctly separate pieces, you say, Two of those pieces the entire time. The other six pieces vanished right before our eyes, transmutated, prevaricated, traveled through space and time, and have restored themselves inside the citrus that's been in your possession. Have you had possession the entire time? The, the whole time. Have you had occasion to examine the orange? I, uh, Has anybody unknown to you ask you to take this on board and everything? No, no, I have not. No, no, no. no. So if indeed I take this thing that's been in your possession the entire time, I open it up. Pick that up from a third grader over in Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> Take this thing and I open it up. And inside, inside that citrus fruit that's been in your possession the entire time, if indeed inside that citrus fruit we have a playing card, that would be pretty darn amazing. But if indeed, Inside this citrus fruit that's been in your possession the entire time, what we find is we find we have your six pieces restored with two pieces missing. We have your six pieces completely restored with two pieces missing. And if the two pieces that you say exactly fit jigsaw puzzle style, the missing pieces in the restored card, we have a miracle and a natural excuse for a tumultuous offer.
some of us, what we're going to do is we're going to have you go around the room and for 30 seconds just explain a little bit again about how we can help you and support you, whether it be through referral or just coming to visit you or whatever. But nonetheless, we've got some incredible people here that do nothing but bring positive and helpful enhance your lives, your business. And it's all very exciting. So right now, without further ado, we're going to start to the right table, because we started with the left when we first started. And now that we're starting, let's just keep right on going. All right. Oh, did we miss somebody? We, yes. Did we miss anything there? Oh, okay, all right. What you, what you have done in the Cinema Club has been amazing. I mean, truly amazing. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're amazing. Now, everybody can stick around and still have fun, all right? I want you guys to stick around if you'd like. You know we'll be meeting in two weeks. Bodine, you are simply amazing, incredible. Yes. for over 30 years, and Woo! every time we book him at a corporation, they rebook him. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here for us for the seven-year anniversary. Yeah. 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 We do know how you do it. We do know how you do it. Anyway, thanks to all you guys. Stick around and have fun, but really had a great time with everybody. And Margie, again, your contributions to the Sterling Club, unparalleled. Thank you so, so much. Oh,